Welcome back crew, batting down the hatches as always. We got some more work to do. Today we're going to be replacing the internal flat sail slides. These are fastened to the mainsail and they ride in a channel in the mast. But sometimes they break. We gotta sew them back in. All right, crew. What we'll need to do this job is I just went ahead and instead of reusing the old nylon, we're using a we're using polyester because it's better against UV and stronger. This is what we're replacing here. This one's still here. This one is gone and missing. It doesn't look like this is really bad here. We're just gonna go ahead and for precaution, just go ahead and replace it. What we'll need is we got a four strand whipping twine. You could use three or five. You just have to go around it a few times. What's unique about this is it's waxed already. Because when we start trying to push that needle through that many layers, it gets kind of difficult. These are some of the needles. They are pretty large. Trying to do those by hand, just not going to happen. So what we have to use is a sewing palm. This is an adjustable one by Sailrite. Uh, it's a little stiff because it's brand new. Needs a little bit worked in. But we'll put it on like that. Then we'll have our needle. Then we'll be able to really push the needle and thread through the multiple layers. Last thing what we'll need are these cell slides or slugs, whatever you would like to call them. That's the job at hand and we'll get started on it. Alright crew, now we got the components. First thing I would do is I'm going to measure the distance, how far it's away, just so we can put the same one in the same spot. Next will be to unstitch it and unravel it. I'm going to make the polyester webbing roughly the same size as the old one. I'm just going to replace them both eventually. We'll start with one. And we'll do the other. See they have a lot of wines on here. We're going to just kind of replicate what they've done and I've already measured it so we know how far away our new sail slug needs to be. Sail slide, slug, I mean they're called the multitude of things. That's what we're going to do. So you could use scissors, a knife, or anything like that, but if you do use a knife, just be cautious to not cut the sail. I'm going to use a uh, thread ripper, a little bit safer. There we go. Peel all the thread out of there. Our piece. I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm going to trim the other side that wasn't. Hot knife. See, it seals the edges. Next is our needle and thread here. Uh, I've seen it both ways on the internet using one strand and then using two. We're going to use two 
and just loop it in the center. It seems to work pretty well and we won't spend so much time trying to thread it through. The, what is important is when we make our loops is getting a nice good cinch on it. So we're going to take it, fold it back on itself. Sometimes you could put a stitch here if you'd like to kind of hold it there. We're going to take this, take our, weave it in there. A pair of needle nose pliers will make this job easier. So we'll measure. There we go. I'll measure it again before we sew it. Take our needle. And we'll start right in the center. First stitch is always pretty easy. We ain't got much thread to work for. We could tie a knot or knob. We're going to go ahead and tie a knot just because, well, I'm not very good at this, so. Might as well, extra assurance I don't pull it all the way through on accident. And we're just going to make figure eights. About four times on each side will work. Sometimes you need little pliers. Pull the needle through. And we'll go through the other side. the center it's going to use our sewing palm Got my finger pretty good there. Just a little bit of blood. Oh my. Oh, casualties. If you don't give up a little blood for the boat, I mean, I guess you're not doing it right. Or you're doing it way wrong, one or two. Now I've seen some people well they'll kind of stitch it around, lock it up that way, but we're just gonna melt it down, call it good. There we go. And we're gonna see those tails, we're gonna melt those down. Little button. There we go, crew. That ain't going nowhere. Luckily, there's only two on this sale. The rest of them are done with these these clips. They don't hold nearly the force as this top one does. This is the top of the mast. There we go. Thanks for watching, crew. Um, just got one more to do, like I said. And then we'll do some more inspection on this sale. 
make sure there's no tears or any other minor cosmetic or structural issues that we need to fix as we get close to hopefully getting this boat launched. See you next time.